snake? In China, they say, when walking through a melon patch, don't adjust your sandals. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep things in the proper perspective, okay? Is that what that means? It looks like Wolf is down. Now get to Metal Gear's underground base on the double. So you beat Wolf, huh? She was a fool to use the same tactics that failed her in your first meeting. But remember, don't let down your guard until you've got a confirmed kill. As long as the strategy of nuclear deterrence continues, nuclear weapons may be reduced, but they will never be eliminated. If you think about it, nuclear reduction does not mean much without elimination as the ultimate goal. I used to work in the DIA. I figured the only way to achieve nuclear elimination was to work from the inside to convince them of the ineffectiveness of the deterrence theory. Seems like you're pretty focused on that issue. Victims of nuclear radiation are a sad thing to see. And I have seen a lot of it. I have seen more than enough of it. I was born and raised in Pripyat, Ukraine. I was 10 years old on that day. April 26, 1986. You don't mean... Yes. Chernobyl. That is the day that changed my life and thousands of other lives. I live just three kilometers north of there. 600,000 to 700,000 people were evacuated. Over 650,000 children suffered the effects of radiation poisoning. Between 1986 and 1993, 12,000 children died. My parents and many others like them who helped in the cleanup died a few years later from radiation sickness. We must rid this world of all nuclear weapons before they cause more misery, before they destroy the delicate environment that keeps us alive. I will not allow this pain and anxiety to pass on to yet another generation. Wait, wasn't Chernobyl a nuclear reactor, not... A warhead? I don't know. Hey ladies and gents, Scheme Rhythm here for another episode of Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. And God damn. And, well, it's good to know that there are plenty of rations around. So last time we killed Sniper Wolf, and I'm not very happy about that. I found another box. Okay. I like how even the uh, turrets get the little things above, above them. The um, poor wolf. <laughs> Sorry. Even the turrets seem. Ooh, level seven can't go in there. The turrets seem to get. Really? Oh. What do you know? So that is how that works. The turrets get the exclamation points above their head. God, I can't speak right now. Why can't I speak? I just got plenty of caffeine in me through the baked apple tea. All right, Snake can stand up now. I'm just going through these side rooms because there seems to be lots of hidden goodies throughout here, and maybe I should crawl through this because I don't trust this room that seems relatively empty. Hmm. I wish I'd remembered to go back and pick up that mine detector. Oh well. Too late now. At least it aren't littering that battlefield out here. Wow. Okay, so there are two gun turrets. I'm curious. 
Now, keep in mind that I'm recording this on the same day that part 13 is going up. So I honestly have no idea. Oh, look at that. Oh god. Let's see. No? Okay. Well, I think that just about covers it for everything that's out here. So I guess we're moving onward. Finally! Some actual progress. Although to be fair, it's not like there's anyone seeking around. You know, I can't help but notice that the stealth portion of this game seems to be taking more of a back seat even to everything else. Just moving from room to room, either fighting a boss or moving on with the story. Alright, I'm guessing from now on they're going to be using pretty much mostly these gun turrets. Can I shoot you? No. no I, can. I can shoot you though. Right? Okay, fuck you. That's good to know. A little unnecessary and kind of a waste of bullets, it seems, but good to know. Oh boy, I'm going into black. What am I going into now? Blast furnace. Oh, this is... I think I have a feeling where this is going. Oh god. That person. He just... Oh god damn it. Enemy set. What's going on? I don't know what's going on, even though... Oh god. This is what I get for being a little further happy. God damn it! Alright. You know what? Let's reset this room real quick. Or maybe there's gonna be someone here who's gonna try to prevent me from resetting the room. Or maybe I can just go back to the salt, to the snow field and reset the room anyway. Eh, better stop bleeding. And but looks like I gotta go back to the good old fashioned, uh. not getting sighted idea. The good thing is it seems to be basically those two guys. So let's try the M9. Who's that? It's the enemy. I need Seriously? God damn it. Let's try this again. Although it was pretty cool to send the guy over the edge, and I think he fell in the furnace itself, so... Wait, why is there a furnace in the middle of Alaska, and why is it so still hot enough out here to freaking... Why is it not hot enough from this room to melt the ice outside? Because I don't know if you know this or not, metal is not very good at uh, not being hot. Or, it's not very good at absorbing heat, rather. Oh gosh. Yeah, 
You know, this is the part where I use a chaff grenade and... Chaff grenade? Body armor? Bitchin'. Okay, now here's the question. How do I get out of here? Here, apparently. Oh god, the steam it hurts, and it also makes me bleed, apparently. Because it's all of the sense. Oh god, stop bleeding me out. Stupid steam. That's not how life works. Wait, did I just find my way out? Who is that? Sort of. Enemy sighted. Request. Cargo elevator. Ooh. Did I just... Maybe I should call someone and make sure I'm going the right way. Like Otacon, for example. If you take that cargo elevator down, you'll wind up in Metal Gear's underground base. It's automatically set to go back and forth between the blast furnace and the underground maintenance base. It's not there yet, so you'll just have to wait. Oh, joy. Huh. That's odd. Why do I get the feeling something bad is about to happen? Because there's a cutscene. That's usually a good indication. Either something bad or something awesome. A little flashy, don't you think, guys? Oh, he's wearing the body armor that I put on, though. Oh, God, no. Really? Uh, keep on the body armor for... Okay. Seriously, though? Okay, I'll take that. That was kind of awesome though, the way they jumped down and did the crazy unnecessary X crossing bullets thing. The explosion at the end was kind of the Michael Bay touch though. I do like how all the turrets from now on seem to be gun turrets. Because they don't call in reinforcements. So that's that's really nice to me. You know what? Yes. Or not. Um, Stinger? Yeah. I think it's not even there anymore. That's awesome. So much fun! Oh well, yeah, it doesn't even have the thing anymore. Why is there... Oh, it's another cargo elevator. Great! Let's go. Oh boy. That's a great sign. That is a great sign. Should I be shooting them? So I think I want to shoot them. Damn. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? 
Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? <sighs> it was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student could see past it. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Damn! And then the ravens are no longer... <sighs> I wanted to shoot a raven for some reason. Because I'm just that fucked up, I guess, but no. No raven shooting for me. Does this mean I get to fight Vulcan Raven again? I mean, excuse me, Vulcan Reagan? Hero of the Conservative Party? Uh oh. I saw Nikita in there. Alright, or Nikita? I don't know. Is that strapped to his back? Oh god! That's what that is! This is the end of the road for you, right, my friends? They're becoming excited. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes, they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided! The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I... I can't move! The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the East flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. You live. 
live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. What? It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words. Oh boy. Did Snake just... what? Now's the part where we actually fight, isn't it? Oh god, he's right there. Okay. So, I think that's more than enough. I'll see you guys in the next Metal Gear Solid. The Twin Snakes Pro will be fighting Vulcan Raven again. And uh, I'm sorry that this is. Do well, that I decided to start another video with a boss fight, but. Vince the Ropes. Bye.